all right i was trying to explain ab something about electronic marketplace and <clears throat> i gave an example something like this craigslist and if you go in the community you can see activities artists child care classes events okay i'm here on this website i live in this place okay for example and i am looking for um, okay i am trying to get into get back to virginia and i am the first thing that i'm going to look at is the craigslist and i'm going to talk about housing i want to buy a house and i want to see what kind of discussion is going on on housing okay and they have this discussion forums in which uh, they talk about a lot of things can anyone tell me why this rent ad was flagged and uh, why was this flagged and they, you see a lot of things here okay and what happens here is people are talking about current issues faced in the community random people people that don't know each other they're helping each other out and also if you want to buy something here okay for example i'm looking for something in my garden okay and i want to buy something second hand okay and this is okay i'm looking for something a machine here okay and it's available for 1300 dollars and this is uh i believe a lawn mower okay and it is it's a walk behind long mower and it's uh, the location is ashland i have to drive all over there to get by this thing and it's uh, actual price is close to three thousand dollars in the market and this is a second hand piece at thirteen hundred dollars so i'm just going to look at the exact product okay and these are all the specifications of the product and all i'm going to do is it it was posted two hours ago okay and i just want this guy to sell it to me show contact information who put this up i want to see that and this is the number that they provided okay and they say that you send me a message and i will send you more pictures okay and uh, any other kind of information is right here so this is a marketplace okay this is an online marketplace i could go on this website forever uh, for example apartment and housing and i'm looking for i'm new in town and i'm looking for something not very expensive okay 1300 square footage is good for me it's a rent to own apartment which means eventually i can buy this from the person and uh, it's 600 dollars 300 bedroom and that's not a bad deal at all for somebody new in town okay okay and they say cats are okay dogs are okay and these are the keywords and it's available now and where is it pataxent river that's the location so students this is how they try to sell their stuff in a marketplace this is an electronic marketplace craigslist is very famous very famous i am sure they have something in your own location so please check it out okay and apart from craigslist here we have the intranet and the extranet okay when you talk about the intranet for example if you log into a course i will show you a good example that i use for myself for example i am a student here and i would like to log in for example i'm a student here at the north central university and the website of the north central university is going to open up and it says student login okay and i am just going to log in into my own page okay this is my password and i'm just going to log in this is my personal login page that i'm showing to you i'm a phd student here and i am studying and I'm taking courses and this is my intranet okay this is my portal these this is where I keep my information in one place okay this is my information welcome Zubia Miguel I'm a student here and these are all my information this is all my information okay I am by the way I'm a PhD student and I am working on my uh, IT I'm an IT major 
and I am also working on my minor as a management business management so I'm working in this university and this is my intranet okay my portal that connects me to the North Central University that's what is an intranet and an extranet is the main page this is the extranet the page before it which connects several pages several intranet the main page is sometimes also known as the extranet okay because many students would log in here many teachers would log in okay and they this page is connecting a lot of students together okay so this is called an extranet i will give you more examples when i find okay now what happens here is what i'm trying to explain here is e-commerce as percent of total value okay if you look at all these past years look at the legend the manufacturing retail merchant wholesale trade and selected services okay so this is up till 2008 and this is how the data has changed over the years okay and as you can see the manufacturing is more in demand over the years the graph is pretty much the same except that the needs have increased okay and what has remained the same is merchant hold wholesale has remained the same this piece of information is good for you to know if you are starting your own business depending on what a product or what market you're targeting this is a good piece of information to know the electronic commerce field classification content and brief history if you look at an electronic commerce framework an electronic commerce applications all EC applications are supported by infrastructure by the following five support areas now you cannot learn about electronic commerce components without knowing about these five support areas people public policy marketing and advertising support services and business partnerships okay so every business has has to have a bunch of people that are running the electronic commerce infrastructure you have to have a public policy which means that the government policies the legislature the law any kind of barriers that you may have to your own particular business the taxes and all of these things these then the marketing and advertising without which you will never be able to get your product out there in the market support services for example horizontal support services like you know you have DHL you have um, UPS and all of these businesses that support the transportation of your own products from the warehouse to the customers doorstep okay that's just one example of a support service another example of a support service is for example you have a warehouse you definitely need those you know shelving units and a lot of things what does a warehouse look like if i google the pic image the uh, word warehouse this is what it looks like right look at this clip art that they have and this is what a warehouse looks like okay that's a very good example you have these transportation logistics trucks you have these uh, transportation things going on here and there's this uh, climate control warehouse where you store all your products Use, usually electronic commerce websites they are supposed to have warehouses where they store their products and then there are people who have an inventory of the products available okay and these people are responsible for making sure that you know this is the inventory these people are responsible for making sure that you know they're stuck they are not overstocked they are not understocked okay and they have enough supplies all of these things all of these things are required okay inventory blowout which means that you know they're out of stock there are no more stock here people are buying like crazy and distribution and packing is going on in a very very healthy manner so even these businesses they need shelves they need shelves and you know stuff like these they need all of air conditioning lights all of these there these have to be provided by support services they have to have a contract 
with other companies that will maintain their warehouses that will you know provide them with the shelving and all of these businesses they have to pay them and then they give their services so without such services you do not have any electronic commerce then you have business partnerships okay for example uh, with the same support services you can have a business partnership for example a six month contract or one year contract in which you get a very good discount uh, and any kind of uh, lighting so lighting services provided by this company would be you know at a very very nice discounted price as opposed to you pay them monthly you pay them yearly and they give you a lot of services they bundle services for you so many many other kinds of business partnerships are available this is just the tip of the iceberg okay and i'm just trying to explain you that an electronic commerce framework consists of people public policy marketing and advertising support services business partnerships towards the end of the overview series i will create i will have a video available for you in which you would be asked different questions evaluated of different con concepts that you should so we have these support services without which businesses cannot function and then we have business partnerships so all in all these five things they help create an electronic commerce framework so my students when you design a business plan okay the final business plan that you create at the culmination of this course you have to have all these five factors defined if you want you can take notes of this people public policy marketing and advertising support services and business partnerships have to be labeled and have to be described explicitly in your business plan okay and uh, i would strongly encourage you to start thinking about your uh, electronic commerce business idea what does your community need what gap is there to be filled what service is not working what needs improvement and how you can make anything better you know these are the basic questions that you need to answer and you need to come up with a solution an electronic commerce solution remember that even the most impoverished societies have internet connection and it is not the same as before 20 years ago internet was only for the educated and the elite now internet is you know people of many backgrounds are able to use internet so you should be able to provide services to entire societies in your country so please think along these lines and with this i'm going to end this video and in the next video i'm going to talk about these framework in more detail okay right now i want to i want to pause and i want you to think about the prospective business idea if you want you can write in comments you can describe your business idea you can send an email to me zubia at qualityforlife.ae and you can also write in comments at the bottom of this video that this is the service that you're thinking of and this is how you're going to embellish it and how i can help you further i am here to help i can i am a consultant as well i work as a researcher and business developer so I, sh I will be able to provide you with any kind of advice that you need. All right. All the best. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.